Hello from Sweden and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Also a big special hello to all my Nordic Light members. Thank you so much for your support. Before we start, I just want to mention today's sponsor, Crystals and Reiki. And all the crystals on the table comes from his web shop. If you're looking for some high quality or rare crystals, you should really check it out. Also, don't hesitate to contact Stu, the web shop owner, if you're looking for something special because he has a lot of crystals that's not up in the web shop. I have shared a link and a discount code in the comment section just above the timestamps. So back to today's reading. A special message from Archangel Michael and the Dragons. And I have prepared three different paths with Oracle cards, the one that you feel the most drawn to, will be your reading today. We're also using different tarot decks and different crystals in each of the piles. So we have pile one with this card and the black tourmaline. We have pile two with this card and the tiger's eye. And we have pile three with this card and the pyrite. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your step readings. Hello, pile number one. And welcome to your message from Archangel Michael and the Dragons. And you felt drawn to the Black Tourmaline, one of my absolute favorite <laughs> crystal friends, even it feels like a friend, friend, you know, the Black Tourmaline, because it's super grounding and uh, it absorbs negative energy, you know, it takes it away from you, it protects you and it grounds your energy. So if you're very sensitive, an empath, or if you're dealing with a lot of heavy energies, having a hard time also grounding yourself, like uh, black tourmaline is almost like something that you really need to have. So you felt drawn to this card. We have a red dragon here. Also why I chose the red, <laughs> the backside with the red tarot deck here. And uh, see here, we have the chakras here as well. So let's see what it says here behind the tape. Awakening. Hmm. Okay, powerful things are going on. <laughs> the tape stick to my finger. Yeah, sticky energies. Are you dealing with sticky energies? Let's see, let's just put it here. And let's start with three cards. The, the, the camera just said, uh, one, one, one. Yeah, one minute and one minute and eleven seconds. So three cards. We're gonna start with three tarot cards. One, two, three. Okay. Eight of Wands. The Chariot. Wow. <laughs> two of the most fast-moving cards in the deck. And Three of Cups. Wow. I just hear. <laughs> Wow, I got such a clear message. It just hit my mind, <laughs> you know, crystal clear. Call us and we'll come. That's what I heard. Call on us and we will come. Eight of Wands, the chariot. How fast, how quickly they are coming to your rescue when you need. Why? Because I think you're a very protected and powerful soul. I think it's in your soul's ascension is in your soul's plan so like you and, and also you have a very very actually a very very strong connection both to the dragons and archangel michael you are like like i almost hear they, we are like one wow okay let me breathe a little bit <laughs> please <laughs> they're talking like i'm getting so much information so fast so uh yeah this is the fast energy but they are really, you're very, very close to the dragons and Archangel Michael. So maybe some of you just clicked on this reading just because it said Archangel Michael and the dragons and you're like, yeah, wow, that's my energy. So yes, this is just a confirmation. 
And what they're saying is like, call on us and we will come. They're always around you. But when you call on them, they can help you even more. Tree of Cups, you know, this is you. This is your friends. You belong with them. <laughs> You're part of the dragon, archangel, Michael, Rom community or something like that. So yeah, I keep hearing, call on us and we will come quickly to cut any cords, to clear out any energies, to ground your energy. As much as we can, we are helping you. Because, you know, they can't take everything away from us. Because we're here, here as a human soul. We're meant to go through our experiences. We're meant to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, meant to go through our experiences. That's it, you know, if they take it away from us, and then the, the whole purpose is lost. So there is a purpose. But they can help you with certain things. Especially when it comes to, when it comes to grounding your energy and protecting you. Because I think you're dealing with, because you are such a powerful soul, almost like a dragon. <laughs> yeah, you have like a lot of dragon fire in you. There is something like with past lifetimes that you're dealing with in this lifetime. Yeah, past lifetimes. So I think like uh, you've been like in war zones. You've been like in alchemical fights between magicians and priestesses, high priestesses. Yeah, you've been in these type of energies. So there's like a lot of uh heavy like you like in your karma there's a lot of like almost spiritual warfare and but it's but i but it's also like it's also your task and your mission like you are like an alchemist so you have yes you have certain karma but it's also like kind of your thing you know you 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 wouldn't fit you know as a soul you wouldn't really fit in in a different setting this sounds strange maybe but you are like a, I don't know if you like the word light worker, but you are like some kind of light worker. Uh, what is it? What does that even mean? Yeah, you're just some kind of higher soul, you know, that uh, has like a very deep spiritual connection, which you, you're not from earth, you know, <laughs> you're not from here. <laughs> you're not even from here. So you're holding a very specific vibration. And because of this, you're bound to go very deep, you know, you're bound to be very powerful, even when you incarnate as a human and you don't even know who you are, you can't remember anything, you know, because we experience duality and, you know, 3D reality here, you're still going to be very, very powerful. So you're a very, very powerful soul. Archangel Michael and the dragons are your friends. You are a protector of the light, but you also... You know, Archangel Michael works with heavy energies, you know? He's one of the Archangels who are very close to humans here on Earth. You know, he can come very, very close. It's because of his job. His job is to protect us against uh, negative energies. Or his job is to help us cleanse ourselves and to raise our vibration, to follow the truth. You know, he's, he has this sword of truth here. So... <clears throat> They are like, pff, call on them and they're just next to you, actually. Call on, and you need to call, maybe even call on them more because they're really, really, really helping you, especially when you're going through very difficult times. Call on them like all the time, <laughs> you know? They're so ready to help you. They're so ready to help you. Wow. Look at this. Isolation, lack of connection. Hmm, this is very interesting. Like, so... I get this sometimes that, you know, very, as a soul, I think you are a little bit on, on the, uh, there's soul types that are not so common here on earth. Uh, there are soul types that there are more of on earth. I think like Pleiadian souls, um, uh, yeah, that was the only thing that I thought about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Pleiadian souls. I think we have a lot. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, like something with like Orion souls, we have a lot as well here on Earth, I think. I love Orion souls. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, yeah. But, but, but something like with you, almost like you come from another galaxy or universe altogether. And this is also why the dragons and Archangel Michael are your friends. Your friends. Wow, I got dizzy now. That's interesting. Yeah. Your friends from like some kind of long, long time ago. Or like you come from somewhere far, far, far away. Or for some high, high, high vibration or realm or something like that. So you are both powerful. Almost like misunderstood. Yeah. Powerful and misunderstood. Uh... And having a hard time connecting with other people because 
you are more spiritual and human you know everybody is spiritual of course we are all spiritual but like you're like even when you are human even when you are like really not knowing that you're more spiritual than human you are still more spiritual than human i don't know how to explain this so at times you can feel very lonely and i would say like you know sometimes our best friends can be our spirit guides our higher self our inner self this is how i feel like it's really it's like our best friends and i think this is the way this is for you i think you're gonna find your soul family maybe for some of you not here on earth yeah with the tree of cups yeah maybe for you you're just such a you know different type of soul and i think your alchemical knowledge is just like i just see like codes and i see like sacred geometrical figures flying around it's like light codes and i was like oh like how am i gonna decipher that but you can do that like so i really think like you are you have like a lot of like spiritual wisdom and knowledge that's very very ancient and you are a soul type that is very very rare it's like there's not many like you maybe there is a couple if you're lucky there is a couple of you here on earth you know but it doesn't have to be you can still be different as a soul type and still have f soul a soul family that doesn't you know come from the same place as you so yeah maybe you have some people that you can connect with that you have some kind of galactic soulmate connection with or some earthly connection with but your true soul family pile number one uh yes they are not here they are in another realm but you need to know and this makes me almost want to cry they're so close to you i mean they are watching you. <laughs> they are watching you. When you're sitting here, you know, lack of connection, feeling all alone and left out, they're just all around you. You know, you can't even sense their energy. But, you know, it's because it's because you are trapped in, an, in, a, in, a, in the mindset here. See here, you're trapped in a reality. The other realms uh, are all around you to tap into. So they're there, but they're kind of in another frequency. And because you can't tap into it, maybe for that moment, you can't feel them. But be sure they're always with you. And I keep feeling like they don't like lose track of you. They know what you're doing. They even know like when you're sleeping or when you're eating. They're very, very close to you. I mean, you are so loved by your dragons and Archangel Michael. And he almost like Archangel Michael and his legion of angels. Like you somehow you're very connected to these energies protector you're a very powerful protector you're a very powerful protector you you have a very high spiritual integrity you have a very high integrity i think and uh, very deep wisdom at times so yeah sometimes you have hard time connecting with people because you're so different even in the spiritual communities earth star activation anchoring grounded action isis energy isis is connected to cyrus sirius serious i think i think isis comes from serious so yeah anyways <laughs> earth star activation i think you know oh this is very important actually yeah it's it's it's, it's you know the earth star is below the root chakra <laughs> earth star chakra below the, the the root chakra you know i i don't know how far far, far down it is but it's uh, actually it's black i always i think it's black i always see it as black i love since i tapped into that energy i really started liking black because it this is kind of almost like the deepest black soil of mother earth that feels filled filled with nutrition and filled with this very nice energy for the body something like with you know how the isolation and the earth star activation here it's like i think it's like they want you to feel not alone like something like yes you're awakening you're going through this whole thing but they want you not to feel alone here on earth by activating the earth star chakra things are going to start to make sense for you for me it's really pretty funny because many times isolation is connected to the crown chakra but for you you know I think already you are very high in your crown chakra, in your third eye. I think you are very spiritual. These things are not a problem for you. But something with the earth star chakra here, rather the other way. And I think something like we are going to help you. They want to help you. They want to help you. But you have something with, like you have to also ask. You know, this is like they're really respecting your integrity in some way as well. You always have to ask, you know. But like activating that. So, so that you can... 
oh, you're you have a mission. <laughs> yeah, you have a mission, pile number one. They're they're really talking fast here, but you also have a mission. I see like how the Earth Star Chakra is being activated and how your roots and your energy is going into Mother Earth and almost like hugging the whole Earth. So you have something. Your energy is supposed to come into the ground, awakening here. You're channeling something. You're actually working with the wow. I got, I got goosebumps all over my legs. Yeah, you are working. These are not your guides. Archangel Michael and the dragons are not really your guides. Your co-workers. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're working together. You are the ground force. You are the one who came here. They are. You're working together. You are the channel which this dragon archangel michael almost blending the energies and, and it goes through you and earth star chakra is supposed to be activated in you so that you can really ground you can ground these frequency into mother earth pile number one i think you are a very powerful frequency holder that has been called <clears throat> wow i feel like i want to cry <clears throat> Let me try. <laughs> Sorry, let me just try. Yeah, I feel like you're a very powerful frequency holder that has been sent here to Earth to channel down some very powerful frequency into Earth. I think it's a very lonely task that you have taken on you because not many souls like you. You're a very high vibe. From birth, you have a very high consciousness. I don't know what family you ended up in or whatever you ended up in, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have been, you're, you're carrying like some kind of heavy load on your shoulders, shoulders by doing this because it's such a, it's so out of your regular energy. Being here is so out of your regular energy. And being amongst uh, these type of energies, yeah. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> let's just continue here. <laughs> Fire dragon. Wow, burns up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul path. Yeah, I think this is you. Look at this. You have two red dragons here now. Fire dragon. <laughs> the next card is orange here. Or the card on top here. You know, yeah. Uh... You're a very, once again, very powerful frequency holder, powerful soul, light being, I don't know what you are, but yeah, something like that, connected to the dragons, Archangel Michael, energy, protector of the universe, and alchemist, uh, spiritual, galactic, uh, sacred, geometrical, I don't know what, <laughs> mathemith, math, 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 yeah, I can't say that, <laughs> that was too difficult. So yeah, uh, burn up the lower energies around you. This is what you're doing. Many of you are carrying difficult karma, born into families, very difficult, you know, born into families that comes, maybe born into a country, you know, where it's war, where there's so much, uh, uh, where, where there's so much like old karma and, and things like that, you know, so many things happen. Uh, and born, so it's like you're carrying all this and none of it is yours. I need, I almost want you to know, like, none of it is yours. N not, none of the pain and the suffering is essentially yours. You're a ser you're a very pure server. <laughs> you do this, you incarnate, maybe even thousand times, you know, 10,000 times in the same planet. Nothing, it's a breath, you know, when we look at it from higher timelines, you know, one lifetime is like a breath. <gasps> oh, that was poof. It said one lifetime went, <laughs> you know, for us, it's like hundred years. Like, oh, okay. That's pretty long, but yeah, it's nothing. So you do this, you incarnate, you get lost, you take on, oh, you do so many things. So yeah, it feels like you, you have like a heavy, there's something with responsibility <clears throat> that, that lays very, very heavy on you because you've been here for, for a very, very long time. And, and they, they want to say like, it's almost over. It's almost done. So yeah, and you're almost going to get like a medal, <laughs> like a medal of honor when you're done because you've been doing something that's been very, very difficult. And uh, you've been doing this a lot behind the scenes, you know, nobody has been telling you like, yeah, you're such a great person because you've been doing the heavy work, you know. Uh, yeah, you've been doing, you've been like cleaning up the trash, <laughs> yeah, cleaning up the, what is it called? Like the bad energies of the, the world, being maybe incarnated in the middle of the genocide, you know, or the middle of, you know, uh, Hitler times and, you know, all these things and, you know, in the middle of the war and like being like, you know, being the, uh, uh, placed in such a harsh and hard environment just to like, kind of like ground and, uh, and somehow transform energies. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting so many messages and, you know, time just goes, <laughs> time flies here in this reading, probably going to be a long reading. You know, there is a specific 
soul type light worker type that comes to earth they are called transformers which sounds like a strange movie it's a movie as well so yeah but bear with me here transformers transformers are very very powerful empaths they suck into their energy they suck in the heavy energies within them and they transform it by sucking this into them you know and then they transform them and hard time to explain but it's like you know sucking it in and then like transforming it's very difficult uh to be one of these souls because you're always always you know working with so heavy energies and i for me i really think this is like these type of souls are definitely connected to the dragons and archangel michael because this is like you have specific abilities to do this it's not easy but you have it yeah it's not easy but you have it acorn with wisdom number seven one of my favorite numbers because it really shows this is your spiritual path aligned with your spiritual path like this is the path for you acorn yeah you have a lot of wisdom let's see what else we got here bamboo mushroom fertility we have let it go this situation no longer serves you allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace your future i think one of the big things that you're working with could be like a sense of responsibility having hard times letting go of certain things because you feel very responsible you are a very serious soul you know i mean in in in, in in one sense, you know, you are very, you know, you have a high vibration. So, of course, you're going to be playful and joyful and all these things as well. But one part of you is very serious because you are a very serious star seed. And you have some very, like, powerful, serious gifts. And so, yeah, I mean, sometimes you, you, you need to not be so hard uh, against yourself. And also maybe not so hard against other people because you can be, like, very almost ma ma masculine very masculine in your energy like you know like a dragon archangel michael so be sure that you don't carry burdens that you don't have to just because you have a sense of responsibility yeah wow it became after i said that everything became so quiet i just felt like Whew, like a freedom so something like it's time to you don't have to carry this much burden so like you you're carrying too much you know you have one task <laughs> yeah you have one task now one task now it's one task i feel like the karma and the things you dealt with the one task now is something like activating your earth star chakra and getting your roots deeply into mother earth so that you can really be this pure frequency holder you're channeling down light so other people can awaken yeah frequency holder um transformer here is what you are fertility something i feel like they're saying like it's time for you to let go of the burden uh, it's time for you to like it's, it's something like enjoying your life and not having to fight so much move your body thank you angels for motivating me to move my body and energy career transition <laughs> nice so you're supposed to move and transit yeah I, I it's like maybe you've been working maybe you have like i don't know what kind of responsibility you have maybe to some family maybe to some friends maybe to your job yeah, I don't know, maybe this or maybe that, but I really feel like they're saying like, yeah, time to let go of those responsibilities. Time to move your body and change your life career transition. Yeah, for some of you, you know, it's done. You're, you're not supposed to struggle so much anymore. And it could be that you were placed in work, you know, just to like transform the energies of your colleagues and your boss. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, why am I here? Everybody's crazy, you know, <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, there's always a... Nothing that happens to you is out of chance pile number one yeah nothing that happens to you is out of chance i mean every place you every place that you are placed <laughs> there is a higher reason you know and many times you know and i, I almost like feel sad to say it many times you're really put in like difficult uh communities like your house you have difficult neighbors you have difficult bosses you have difficult family you have difficult friends like a lot of these things and it almost feels like, oh, it's enough. And I really feel like they're saying, yeah, it is actually enough. You know, it's done. Something like it's, they say it's done now. 
So and then when I said I want to cry, it's like is it really done? They're like, yeah, it's done. <laughs> you know, you you did your share of transforming energies here in your community, in your family, in your friend group, in your job. Now it's time to go even further than that. Like the first half of your mission on in this lifetime is over, and now it's time to transition to the second half. Or to do the final half. And for the, in the final half, you're moving away and you're going to move into lighter energy. And it's time for you to grow now. Before almost you were just holding space and transmuting things for others. You know, processing other people's feelings and emotions and energies. Like a lot of these things. Yes, of course, you had your own things as well. But there has been like a lot of dealing with other people's uh, BS almost, you know. And feeling very lonely whilst doing it. So... <clears throat> Now it's time for you to, yeah, change your career transition. I really feel very light energy is coming here, you know. Let's see this last card. Sake, wow. Oh, I have goosebumps on my legs again. Yeah, sacred plan. Look at this. Yeah, there's a beautiful sacred plan for you. Before you were sucking, you're becoming, it's, it's time to activate another ability, yeah. So I really, for me, I really resonate with this being a transformer. Yeah, I don't know even know how I do it. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> I just feel like I don't know how, I want to make it stop. I can't, <laughs> you know, always being able to sense everything, feeling everything, you know, and sucking energies in and transforming them. Yeah, it's very difficult, actually, and hard to explain how it happens. But anyways, so what I hear here is like one gift is being released and another one is being activated. The, the reason why this one gift is being released is because you're done with it. It needed to be done. It's like somebody needed to do it and you did it. And now it's time for the next gift to be activated. And the next gift is like before you worked with darkness and heaviness. Now you're going to start working with light. Whoa, what a cry. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, now you're really going to start to work with the light. Look how you're activating here. Your healing energy, your heart, your eyes are open. You know, your hair is blowing in the wind. Look how free you are. <sighs> light is your new language. So this is not, you know, there are many light workers or frequency holders all around the world who is doing this different type of soul types can channel different type of energies. So they're saying like, I don't know, 100, 200,000 people all around the world have this mission. Something maybe around those numbers. So who knows, numbers are difficult, you know, to say, but this is what I said. And I saw, saw an earth globe and I see like little lights, you know, and these are diff, diff, different type of soul types. Most of them very, very old, you know, as you and the masters in some sense, you know, from another place, maybe not mastered the earth realm yet, but this is also what you're doing during this mission. Your soul is also, of course, also evolving because you're here. You haven't been here before, you know, but now you've been here maybe 10,000 lifetimes <laughs> before coming here. You haven't been here. So different type of soul types can channel different type of energies and together uh, helping Gaia activate into a higher frequency and realm and awareness and also all the human and all the human souls here on earth yeah so this is your mission this is what you're doing yeah <laughs> this is what you're doing but it's the first half is done here you've done the heavy work and now it's time to career transition you know really talks maybe you think you know it could be also you know your normal job but this is like what is it it's also talking about what's going on you know behind the scenes what you're doing with your energy and your awareness and your spiritual work. So yeah, this is really talking about two things. Yes, maybe your real career, but it's also talking about your, like once again, like I said, your energy and what's going on behind the surface. I hope that card really wanted to come as well. So let's see what we got here. Knight of Cups, wow. I feel like that's your energy, Six of Wands, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you're really, you're really going to shift your energy. No more heaviness. No more heavy lifting. No more this annoying people and sticky people and sticky collective energies and all these things. No more of that. No more of you being the one who always have to carry everybody's emotions and feelings and thoughts and, you know, all these things. Yeah, I think really feels like it's, it's done with that. Page of Wands and King of Pentacles. Hmm... So yeah, with Page of Wands and King of Pentacles, yeah, it's a really new beginning for you. 
yeah, it's a new beginning for you. I think you're being removed, you know, move your body, career transition. You're being moved. This could even be a physical move. It could be that you outgrow your community, your family, your home, your job. But something is definitely like... Uh, you're, you're really a lot of dude, look at they're all going here Woo you know everybody's <laughs> going somewhere king and king of, oh to the king of pentacles king of pentacles is waiting here look at there's a castle in his head here <laughs> so yeah you're really going moving somewhere which is more aligned with your energy this move is both spiritual but i think also physical as well six of wands you have been very successful knight of cups you feel you feel good. Yeah, you're going to feel very good about this. You're going to feel that something has shifted. Pile number one. Yeah, you're really going to feel like something has shifted within your energy and you're going to really start to experience that. Wow, you know, before, you know, there was a lot of transforming energies and now it's going to be very powerful energy coming from your hands, but it's going to be different, almost like gold frequency. Yeah, something like that. Completely different completely different and this whole thing is going to take you somewhere else and it's going to be beautiful because from now on your life is going to be much more about working directly with the light than transforming and working with heavy energies mm. okay pile number one this was your reading if you want to share your story please feel free to do so in the comment section either way pile one i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn to this orange dragon and the tiger's eye crystal. So let's see what we have here behind the tape. And it says determination. So tiger eye is a powerful booster of our confidence. It gives us, yeah, it gives us a lot of energy actually and confidence to deal with things. So let's put it here the corner and we're gonna start with three tarot cards so a special message from archangel michael and the dragons let's see what we can channel for you today okay <clears throat> politics seven of swords beyond illusion with judgment and wow the world with completion yeah the last piece of the puzzle determination one thing that i hear it's okay for you to be very almost like strategical like dealing with something in like a very strategical way the reason why you need to deal with this in a very strategical way is because it's not so easy to deal with <laughs> yeah it's not so easy to deal with i think we're gonna do more cards yeah let's just do more cards see how this develops here Wow, Archangel Raphael, love, healing, and miracles. Hmm. We have Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. Interesting. So my, my I started like, I, I felt very confused, and then I started to get like a headache. I think like something which is in the way for you to be able to receive very powerful and pure healing energies. I feel like they want to help you to dissolve that. And this thing that's this energy almost like an entity that's in the way is in is is in your mind it could even be feeding off your mind your thoughts we have look at this everything is showing the mind here so seven of swords the masks something with the face here 
beyond illusion you know judgment here but it really shows look how this is something like activated here eyes are closed something higher is activated here crown chakra third eye completion even the last piece of the puzzle is being put on the third eye and i really feel like this pressure on my third eye and crown chakra now when i channel this and it's like almost like I would like, I, I almost like, I feel Archangel Raphael energy here. And I feel like my own healing ability, like I want to push the, I want to push energy into your crown chakra and third eye. But it's like a lot of like, uh, there's something in the, in the way there. Like there's something in the way. Clearing old stories, Akashic records. One thing that I feel like they're saying, like, um, I almost want to tell you like to to meditate and call on Archangel Michael and the dragons and say like whatever obstacles are in my mind I allow you to dissolve them for me yeah <laughs> wow it came so clear <laughs> yeah I allow you to dissolve them for me it could even be for some of you that you have some kind of entity collective entity a kind of thought pattern of fear or something else like it's 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 telling you something you know, it's like a thought in your in your head. Keep on repeating something, and what it's keeping on repeat, whatever it's repeating, is not a positive. It's like some kind of negative, limiting thought, and I think it's not yours actually. It's almost like you know, with the mask here. Yeah, you know, it's something is hiding. <laughs> something is hiding in your mind that's not yours, and this is like it's almost like. There is, there are forces that don't want you to awaken. There are forces that don't want you to remember who you are. Because what happens when you activate the third eye and the crown chakra? You're going to be very powerful because you're going to remember your true self. <laughs> you're going to be, you're going to uh, download your soul purpose. And maybe you have a very powerful purpose here with determination and the tiger's eye leadership. You know, the leadership stone. Maybe you're meant to be a very powerful, charismatic leader here that's meant to bring change to the world. A very powerful healer here with Archangel Raphael. Maybe even somebody that can tap into Akashic Records and help people. Wow, did you hear? I think it was a crow. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so maybe even help people tap into uh, their... Akashic record, they're like, oh, you're like activating your third eye and your crown chakra is what's going to complete you. It's going to complete you. And this big time activation is going to help you embody the true master healer that you are with Archangel Raphael. And with that master healing that you're going, master healer energy that you're going to embody, which is a part of your soul's energy, you're going to be able to activate other people. And there is forces and energies that don't want you to do that. So they are sending you thought, thoughts, <laughs> Uh, spiritual parasites almost or entities of thoughts you could also been picking this up you know just because there's so much going on in the world you know there's wars and don't watch the news pile number two <laughs> yeah if you're watching the news stop watching the news you almost need like a spiritual detox social media news all these things you know because there's a lot of things that are you know there are forces that don't want you to awaken because you are very powerful that is the truth and the dragons and Archangel Michael want to help you. They're coming through very cl clearly here. They want to help you dissolve this. They're very good with these energies. It's astral parasites, uh, negative entities, spiritual negative or heavy forces or dark forces. They're very good. You know, this is what they do. You know, They love working with these things. You know, for them, it's not fear. You know, it's just energy. They just move it and transform it and, you know, do open up the path for you and things like this. So, yeah. Uh, so, your yeah, I think it's in your sole purpose to be a very powerful leader with determination and the tiger side here and to um, tap into your own Akashic records, clearing out old stories, like clearing out... Oh, the key. you're so close. Oh, you're, you're just so close. This, this is what's annoying, you know? It's like, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating and annoying. It's like something is keeping you trapped, but you're so close to 
to unlocking the mysteries of you with the Akashic Records, you know, un 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 unlocking all the mysteries of you. It's like the key is just here. The key is just here, but something keeps you astray. That damn mind, you know, that damn mind and the things that has crept into your mind. So yeah, you know, judgment, clearing, cleansing, awakening, completion, the last piece of the puzzle, total mind activation, third eye crown chakra activation, remembering who you are, remembering your mission. You're going to be an unstoppable force when this happens. A very powerful healer here to activate other people, here to lead the way. Clearing out your Akashic records. There are, there are a lot of illusions here. There is a lot of illusions here. Yeah, it's a lot of illusions. Like when I started your reading, I said, yeah, I started in one energy. And I was like, that didn't feel good. Yeah, look, I'm losing my voice also. I started with one energy and that didn't feel good. <clears throat> so many things will keep you, want to keep you astray. And it wants to keep you astray with things that doesn't matter. And what doesn't matter? The politics of the world. Who? It doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because you're more powerful than that. You are meant to go even beyond that. And you can change the world when you are in your powerful energy here where you help people awaken where you help people people heal heal and see things from a whole different perspective so and politics also here what <clears throat> what is drawing your attention is like f fights and conflicts and worries and and this and this and that you know you have different minds of course uh, if they're sending if, if you're picking up on some kind of thought pattern they're keeping you trapped of course they're gonna use something they know you're gonna like uh, uh, one of your emotional wounds you know they're gonna use something that you know is like connected to you of course not gonna use something that is not triggering to you so it's feeding off already existing wounds and negative thought patterns that you are identified with and it, they it become it it all um, they uh, make it bigger they make it bigger and they make you stuck in that so you're not the, the spiritual fight here is not just with your own mind, you know. This is even bigger than this. This is a, a collective, this is like, a, you know, you're fighting for the whole human race almost or something like that, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is a very big thing that you're doing, but it's completely, there are they are completely powerless. So this is, you don't have to fear anything because as soon as we stop identifying ourselves with any type of mind pattern, thought pattern or emotion it loses its power immediately directly your awareness shedding light on that thought or that emotion is pure light and love and you know yeah what can it do you can't do anything you know because what does a thought do yeah it just thinks you know just tells you thing does it mean anything if you don't identify yourself with it so for you it's like S certain things has also been very stubborn for you to let go of and the reason why is like i said because they have been using your weaknesses your weaknesses in your mind maybe addictions even weakness of your mind addiction maybe lust maybe you know this or maybe that maybe anger maybe frustration maybe sadness maybe hopelessness maybe depression you know whatever is your thing they have been using that to keep you in that 3d matrix uh, scared place, you know, or trapped. I mean, maybe you're not even scared, but very trapped place with determination and the tiger side here. Really, you know, the dragon and the archangel Michael really want to push you and give you all this energy, all this clarity. You know, archangel Michael comes in with the sword of truth and purifies your mind. You know, purifies your mind and slays those demons in your mind. You know, transmutes that energy. So really, work with this. Focus a lot. I think you should focus a lot on your third eye and your crown chakra right now. The healing abilities here, you know, look at this. Love, healing, miracles. I mean, this is your this is your pure energy. This is what is going to awaken in you. It's like, you know, I just see this green light coming from my hand, you know. So, you know, you don't have to focus so much on your gifts and these things. It's going to come naturally when you get rid of the junk, you know. That that is keeping you like a like a heavy hat made of stone almost. Ooh, you know you're you're feeling he heavy in your head. When you get rid of that, whew, your connection is super ultra pure, and your third eye is very powerful. You know it's going to activate all the rest of your chakras. Everything is going to make sense for you. So the rest, everything else will like kind of naturally um, uh, uh, unfold and unlock. You know. <clears throat> Yeah, in your, I said that in your hands. Yeah, I really see like a lot of healing energy. Look at this infinity sign here. 
infin is it called that yeah anyways above the crown chakra here so yeah once again this is really in focus now your mind source dragon attunes you to the infinite be still in the silence magic can happen be in the moment yeah so <clears throat> this crown chakra third eye thoughts patterns and you know all these whoa you know noise in your head is making you very ungrounded and like um focus making you focus on the wrong things making you stuck in certain thoughts and things like that and i feel like you're really this is like when you're this is purified and locked you're going to start to experience like an inner peace and stillness that you have never experienced before it's going to be very powerful yeah i mean yeah it's going to be very powerful maybe you're going to be shocked because your personality is going to change because maybe before you were a little bit all over the place or you were like I don't know, like me, I talk very fast. And usually, actually, I talk very fast, mostly when I do readings. But yeah, <laughs> no, maybe not. Anyways, <laughs> let's put myself aside. So I think your personality somehow is going to change. Maybe you walk very fast. All of a sudden, you're like, no, oh, I'm walking very slow. Maybe you're always stressed when you're standing in the... Uh, waiting for the bus you know or when you're standing in line to buy groceries you always get stressed or something something with like the this you're going to be, feel very calm because and you're maybe you like you in certain situations you got really irritated or frustrated or something like that and it really feels like you're going to learn who you really are when you get rid of all that junk in your mind <clears throat> which causes a lot you know thoughts causes emotions you know there's a thought and a thought has is causing a physical sensation and energy in the body which causes an uh, emotion so you know when you have all these thoughts in your mind one thought after another jumping around you know <laughs> i was really observing my mind the other day and it was like crazy <laughs> I was like i'm crazy you know if somebody knew like how my mind is jumping from this thing to that thing to that thing and then starting to fantasize about this thing i was like wow you know if somebody knew if i was speaking out my thoughts loud you know they would lock me into a mental hospital because it's insane and i know we all have this crazy monkey mind you know <laughs> so your personality is going to change because you're going to be very calm because it's going to be so quiet, you know? So all of a sudden you're standing there in the grocery line and there's some, I don't know, a uh, little old lady and she's taking her time and there's kids screaming and, you know, there's this and that and you're just standing there like, okay, you know, not even thinking a thought, just feeling very peaceful. So yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, very good uh, bonus here. Skull, <clears throat> death. Hmm. A part of you will die. But the part of you that will die. Yeah, this is this is what I feel is going to happen. I think your personality is going to change a lot. And for some of you, I think actually for many of you, it's going to be good. Don't be scared when that happens. Don't be scared of change. Because many times, you know, when we change ourselves in these grand, big ways, it also means that we, we know we don't... Uh, sometimes we're scared of changing because... That means we have to change our job, maybe. We have to tell this friend, yeah, you know what? This doesn't work anymore. Or we have to tell that partner, you know what? This doesn't work anymore. We have to put this boundary. We have to quit this job. I said that maybe we have to move here. There's a lot of things that comes with change. So for, don't be scared because I think you're, you're like, this is going to change your per perception you're on everything, you know? Yeah, on everything. And some people might not recognize you anymore because you changed so much. So when you're trying to have conversation with an old friend and they're trying to connect with you through your old way of speaking and connecting about things, about maybe gossiping, you know, it's not, nothing bad, you know, gossiping, you know, it's a way to connect many people. We talk about this and that and that, but then just different. You, you just, they can't, they feel like they can't connect with you anymore because you are different. And for you, it's like, when you start to notice that, that you're starting, this is like the progress, the, the process has started because you're going to be very different because you're going to end up in your authentic personality. And in this authentic personality, there's a lot of things that was in your old self that doesn't fit there. Because it's not a part of your authentic self. So don't resist the change. And be comfortable with uh, realizing that you're outgrowing 
friends and family and job and home and things like that because i think it's inevitable inevitable if you stop yourself you're just gonna get yeah, headaches if you stop yourself you're gonna start getting headaches because the third eye maybe something even with your sight with your ears with your neck uh, even with your throat you know throat chakra heart yeah it's going to be like a lot if you stop yourself I think you're going to start to experience physical problems because this is trapped energy that your guides are trying to move. And also because, you know, probably you're doing spiritual work and things, so you want to change. So you're moving all this energy around, but if you don't let go, you know, all, it's all going to be trapped within you. <laughs> so it needs some kind of outlet. The outlet for you is to let yourself die. Let the past you, let the past version of you die. Let go what needs to be let go of. Yeah. Deception. <clears throat> amethyst deceiver deception yeah here you have it you know these deceptive thoughts <laughs> yeah deceptive thoughts look at this they're going yeah it's the death look at all these uh, beautiful colors here yeah you know violet this is the color of the crown chakra actually <laughs> yeah not violet i don't know uh, li this lilac color almost yeah you know many times i see it as white but also this color you know it's the crown chakra so yeah letting it come out of your crown chakra here yeah decept deception amethyst deceiver the skull 24 and number 14 here as well so yeah yeah it's about getting that out of your mind out of your energy and yeah once again you know the dragons and archangel michael are here to help you with this this is what they work with so this is why they come through this is their message mes their message for you is to work with their energies call on them you know Call on them when you go to sleep. Maybe you can find, you know, Archangel Michael. Didn't I do? Yeah, I think, you know, I actually, yeah, I think I did one channeling meditation in English. I think it's on my channel. Can't remember what it is, but it was with Archangel Michael. It's very powerful, powerful, actually. I will share a link to that uh, meditation uh, above the timestamps. But otherwise, you know, you just check, uh, you just look around. Maybe somebody knows. If somebody here is listening, you know, who knows a very good cleansing, clearing meditation, third eye, crown chakra meditation. You just share in the comment section so people people can look around and get tips on how to do this. But yeah. But it's also about, you know, detoxing yourself. <clears throat> stop watching the news. Stop, stop engaging in, you know, uh, these uh, negative... Uh, or um, it, there is no, you know, there's no good and bad. There's no good and bad. There's only consequences. So we're not judging and saying, oh, this is bad. Look, watching the news is bad. Not watching the news. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so spiritual. I don't watch news. No, there's no, there's no good and bad. But there is consequences. If we keep on surrounding ourselves and in, 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 in digesting, digestion, digesting energies of news and wars and worries and, you know, the collective, there's so much collective energy, you know, it's not just, you know, watching the news, you also tap into millions and billions of people watching these news and, you know, feeling so many, much anxiety and so much fear. How are you going to, you know, how, how are you going to cleanse and clear out your, and detox your mind? You keep on picking up all these big things, you know, so there's, there's only consequences. So for you, you know, there's, it's good to, to detox a little bit from these things if you can, you know, and, and and to, so that you can get rid of things that are like heavy on your mind and that's feeding on your like <clears throat> your own fears so that you really can you know with akashic records here so that you can really get rid of your own uh, wounds and your own karma and close those wounds and be completely healed so you know you're free of fear in your mind which is completely possible it's completely possible to be free of fear and worry and stress in our mind <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow i'm so sorry <laughs> i mean i mean what is this <laughs> this is insane take control of your thoughts yeah if i ever doubted my abilities <laughs> yeah i mean yeah take control of your thoughts yeah your thoughts are creating your reality have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire 31 yeah <laughs> take control of your thoughts is the key see the key to activate your master healing abilities but also for you to finally cleanse out what is left here in your akashic records but not just cleanse out also activate all your gifts all your wisdom and also tune you to the source power of yours <laughs> wonderful 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 
Honor your beauty, Archangel Yofiel. Thank you, Yofiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Archangel Yofiel, funny that she's in so much green here. Archangel Raphael has a very green energy. I always see Archangel Yofiel with yellow energy, actually. But anyways, Archangel Yofiel is a wonderful energy. She uh, uh, helps, lifts our vibration. So you can also call on Archangel Yofiel. Every time your mind goes into these negative thought patterns and you're starting to feel heavy and worried and I don't know what, call on Archangel Yofiel and surround me with your energy and lift my spirit and raise my vibration and she will help you. Wow, Sadkiel, so many angels here. Yeah, wow, you have a lot of angels. Raphael, Sadkiel, uh, Yofiel, Michael. So Sadkiel works with the violet flame. So if you know the violet flame, it's very transmutative. So you can also channel or you know listen to some kind of meditation that works with violet flame we can just put on some kind of frequency music and just like uh, uh, visualize this violet flame coming into your third eye and your crown chakra and burning up everything that doesn't belong there transmuting and burning it up destiny pride conscious forgiveness and the opposite here is indecisive ego lost judgment yeah we have the judgment card here yeah <clears throat> keeping you astray something wants to, remember something wants to keep you astray something wants you to fight the outside the, the things that don't matter something wants you to focus on the karmic people in your life that made your life miserable something wants you to keep you maybe depressed or worried or overly focused on this or that remember something wants to keep you there because what happens if you don't if you let go of this you will let go of everything you will activate your higher self and you know open up to all these master things that you have here and you will become this powerful powerful beacon of light and leader here on earth and, and you know you're all you yeah even with that you know a lot of wishes is going to come true for you so yeah completion opportunity and change yeah this is just a confirmation yeah this is confirmation you know get out of your mind start by getting out of your own way you know and then work deeper to cleanse yourself from things that doesn't belong in your mind allow yourself to die maybe 10,000 times if it's necessary yeah I don't know why I said that but I heard that yeah just allow yourself to die hmm so we have queen of wands yeah <clears throat> You definitely have a mission where you're supposed to be in the public eye. Some kind of leader, some kind of inspirational figure. Yeah, master healer. Five of uh, wands with totality. And ace of wands. No, king of wands with the creator. Wow, a lot of wands here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fire energy. Yeah, awaken your passion. It really talks about awakening your passion. Maybe you've even experienced because you know what? Nothing is so tiresome as your thoughts. You know how much energy our thoughts are taking from us. So yeah, having all this fighting and having all these things here, you know, with the seven of one, seven of swords here, is could could be like you you're procrastinating. You don't have energy. You're lacking. Yeah, you're lacking energy, lacking motivation, all these things. Because you're, you're all, all your energy, all your life force is going to your mind, feeding your mind, feeding your addictions, feeding your negative traits, or I don't know what. And like I said, you know, it's not even you're making in this. And then maybe feeling, yeah, maybe these thoughts are even making you feel bad, saying like, yeah, look at you just laying there on the couch, you know, you are so useless, or I don't know what, or look at you, 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 you try to do something, and then you, you fail, and then your mind starts to saying like, yeah, look at you, you should even try it, because you see you didn't manage, or like maybe, you know, questioning your gifts, and things like that, yeah, look at you, you know, you're not good, so there's a lot of mind games going on, <laughs> you know, and you need to know that your, the fight is not just with your, with yourself, it, this is a bigger fight but it starts of course it starts with you and you're completely in control of changing this queen wow i didn't even think about that you have queen of wands and king of wands nice the feminine and the masculine energy here yeah wow yeah i mean <laughs> i really think you're very powerful <laughs> yeah you know you're definitely not a couch potato and you're not meant to be that you're not meant to be uh, hidden away in some corner of the world you know, feeling like a failure. No, definitely not. You're meant to be this powerful healer and a part of the change of the world, a part of the positive change of the world. Mm. 
fully in control here with the king, queen of wands and the king of wands. See how there, and with the five of wands here in the middle. See here, you have complete control of the fire here. It doesn't consume you anymore. Hmm. Okay, pile number two. I think we're going to stop here. And yeah, pile two. If this was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. And yeah, I, re I really wish you all the best, pile number two. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three. And welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn to this dragon here that holds the earth globe in his hands and also the pyrite crystal let's see what it says here behind the tape we have balance hmm. okay so let's just keep it here in the corner and we're gonna start with three tarot cards so a special message from archangel michael and the dragons Yeah, I think it's these two. <laughs> okay, yeah, look at this. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Dragon skin. <laughs> yeah, I think this is dragon skin. Let's see what we have here. Three of wands. No yeah, portal opening up. Okay. We have the hanged man in reverse. Okay. And we have page of swords in reverse as well hmm interesting because this is a complete new deck <clears throat> and i always keep my cards upright you know starting the reading so i have no idea how they turned reversed here so the hanged man in reverse and the page of swords in reverse hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> that's tricky energy yeah hmm let me just tap in a little bit here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, very... Being very, very trapped, you know, uh, with the hanged man in reverse. But the hanged man in reverse... Whew, whew, this is like... <laughs> yeah, okay. It's almost like you don't know if it's bad or if it's good. Th this is the energy that I'm getting. Because it's almost like something is like contradicting each other. So it's like, it's hard to know something. It's hard to get clarity over something. This this is like, I tried to read these two cards and I was just like, woo. It was like, yeah, but if I see, if I if I channel it like this, it's actually pretty good. But if, if, but if I do like this, ooh, it's really bad, you know? And then it's just like, I just started to get really confused here. But then I look at the Tree of Wands here and I see this beautiful portal opening up here. So there is a escape plan. See here, <laughs> the panic room, you know, or an escape plan here. Something beautiful is opening up and it's the, almost the only thing that's in color here. Yes, we have the hanged man and the bat's eyes are red here you know it's very you know yes the bat shouldn't be like this of course it's going to hang like this it's completely out of order yeah something is completely out of order here uh, and you know with the knight uh, with the knight of swords reversed you know can be very impulsive uh, aggressive energy impulsive aggressive energy but at the same time with the hanged man here passive you know in some way so this is why it's so confusing in one hand you know it's this forceful almost aggressive energy but in the other passive aggressive <laughs> yeah there we have it some kind of passive aggressive energy and i i i, I this is a weird thing to, but my root chakra started to hurt like between my legs you know yeah i i started to feel pain and in my in my uh, right leg yeah i feel pain in my leg so I think okay let's tap in a little bit Archangel Michael and the dragons is trying to show you the way out there is a way out here there is a way out this is a very positive way out you, you don't miss it <laughs> yeah like don't miss it they're trying to show you the way out here they're trying to show you the way out so that you can balance your life again we're going to do more cards <clears throat> physical issues Illness, accident, and injury. And a crashed, there's a crashed wagon here, crashed car. 
Hmm. Passive aggressive energy. I think you really have some. You have some bad energy around you, pile number three. Yeah. It's almost like they're trying to move you and remove you from that. We want to do more cards. Hotter light coats, light immersion, full system upgrade, power recall. Wow. A very powerful portal for you is opening up. Earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Yes, you balance here. Stay balanced, ground your vision, manifest your hopes and dreams. It's not so complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. It's def It's not so complicated. There's two paths for you. There is two paths for you. One path is going to make you feel stuck and trapped and attacked. And it's going to leave you frustrated. And what I feel like the Archangel Michael and the dragons are doing here is like they're all showing you the way here. Here. They're like almost like come with us. They're saying come with us. Come with us here. Come with us here where we will save you from this energy. Where we will help you heal physical issues, maybe something physical. We will help you heal. We will, we will full system upgrade you here with hot or light coats. You know, immerse you in light. Bring you back to balance and save you from this. Come with us. Yeah, I keep hearing like, come with us, they're saying. Almost like a song, you know, come, come with us. They're calling you. The dragons definitely are, ca are calling you. And it's a, I feel like a specific type of dragons came through in this reading. A very specific type of dragons. And I think it has to do with the type of soul that you are. And the type of soul that you are is a very delicate soul. <laughs> yeah, it sounds strange to me. I don't know how to explain this energy, but it's like very... I think that in like as a soul, you don't even have like a body, you know, you're more like an energy. Yeah, it's like your your energy. Yeah, I would say like you're more energy and it's like this translucent, delicate is not the right world, but yeah, tra translucent, like, I don't know, like a beautiful song, <laughs> you know, yeah, imagine like fairies singing, <laughs> yeah, almost like fair, like a... a, a angelic fairies singing <laughs> in, in, in some kind of translucent, pearlescent uh, song and energy. This feels like your energy. And it's like they're calling you to even look at the colors here. They're the, the, the specific, very specific dragons and be I see be I see other beings as well. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared about that. So yeah, I see something completely different here. And yeah, I mean, yeah. Wow, last time also Pile 3, there was specific beings. So if you felt drawn to Pile 3 at that time too, you know, we had some very three powerful masters that came through. You know, these are different type of beings. But once again, you know, this is like from your, I think, I don't know, Andromeda Gal Galaxy? The Andromeda Galaxy maybe? Uh, somewhere else, you know, that you feel content connected with. Yeah, there's there is some there are some healers coming through here. And they're all here to help you. Yeah, they're all here for you. <laughs> Pile number three, they're all here for you to help you with this, this, uh, you know, aggressive, the page, page what did I say? Page, sons of, son of swords in this deck. I think it's knight of swords because I think the daughters represents the pages. So yeah, knight of swords in reverse, you know, <clears throat> this is a aggressive energy. This is somebody <clears throat> arrogant and aggressive and, and mean, actually. Yeah, very mean. <laughs> and, 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 and the hangman, you know, in reverse, this is somebody completely up, wrong. You know, I don't know, like some, somebody doing something completely wrong. And then the beautiful portal, three of wands, is all about moving on, moving away, moving away from this. So it's like, help, I, want, I want them, I, they're, they're, they're calling on you. They're saying, like, we want to help you. And... This is, this is, yes, Archangel Michael and the dragons, but mostly some other type of beings is coming through here. And it's because you are a different type of soul. You, you have this very delicate, once again, you know, energy. 
Hmm. Physical issues that you are experiencing in this lifetime is because of your... Something that you have picked up from mean and aggressive people in your life. So it could be parents, toxic parents and things like that. Almost like, or like generational, you know, all the... All the people in your family have problems with their stomach or all the people in your family has asthma or this or that, like something like that. So I feel like they want to like upgrade your energy and help you get rid of those physical problems, big ones or small ones. Earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Yeah, to balance your energy. To balance your energy. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Moon. Timing, yeah, I mean, yeah, moon goddess, pile number three. Yeah, you're very connected to the moon. And uh, this, <laughs> I keep hearing delicate. I'm just going to go with that, you know, I don't know. Yeah, very delicate energies. <laughs> yeah, very delicate energies. And this, like, passive, aggressive, toxic, impulsive person here that is making you confused. And, you know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. This is like a typical narcissist, actually, yeah. It's like, is this person good? Is this person bad? Or is, am I confused? Or, oh, yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, this is not nice. <laughs> yeah. So this is so far away from <laughs> what kind of person you are. I don't even know how you attracted this type of person in your life because you're so different from them. <laughs> yeah, completely different. Yeah, so moon cycles. Yeah, you're like, really, you have like a goddess moon uh, translucent energy to you. My stomach started to hurt a little bit. Yeah, so something is definitely taking your power. Taking your power. Yeah, it's talked about stomach issues. So maybe some of you have that. Let's see what else we got. Red cage and capture. So yeah, <laughs> they're trying to save you from something here. To get you away from that. Because you, you are way too sensitive way too beautiful to be stuck in this that is aggressive and mean way too you are way too worthy of something better and these physical issues that's not even yours and this bad energy causing you maybe you know bad luck in some way it's not even yours they want to help you Get rid of that. And something with balancing your energy so that you can function more here on Earth. Because you have such a different vibration, it's hard for you to function here on Earth. So they want to balance it so that's easier for you to connect heaven and Earth here. So that you can ground your vision and manifest your hopes and dreams. And your hopes and dreams doesn't have these... these te let's do another card, you know? You know, of... Uh, let's see here. Do I have the deck? The deck is upside down or <laughs> downside up? Yeah, let's just go with it, you know? I don't know what happened with the deck. <laughs> let's just take one more card between the hangman. See if we can get some more information. And we have the tower in reverse. Wow, this is somebody who doesn't take responsibility. <laughs> this is somebody who's just blaming everything on everybody else and not taking responsibility. You know, they will make the whole tower fall, but they will completely resist change or... what? Um, they will, like... Uh, completely uh what is it called project on the outside instead of like you know they could be caught what is it called caught red-handed is that the saying you know caught red-handed i don't even know if i'm saying that right you know but they, they could be caught you know in the act of doing something really bad and they will still deny it and <laughs> say like i didn't do anything you know just because they're resisting change so much so i don't i don't know but this is really resisting change but the tower in reverse also talks you know about um avoiding something avoiding something avoiding you know being trapped this is going to make you sick i am i have to say you know physical issues if you stay in this toxic environment, in this toxic situation, with this, the thoughts that are the, this situation is creating, the feelings that this is creating, creating, you're going to get physically ill because of this. This is how we get physical illnesses. It's because these bad energies trapped in your body. So they're in, for you, this is like, it's so far away from your pure energy. And I think it's going to be pretty easy for you to release this once you tap into your true energy. And I think also this is why the... the 
Andromedan light beings here came through very, very strongly as well. It could even be something else, but I really feel Andromeda. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Once again, they're saying hello. So yeah, anyways, I, they're still here. I can feel them here. They're beautiful. <laughs> they're standing on my uh, right side here just next to me. So yeah, they're still here. So yeah, this is what they come to you because they want to help you heal. And they have some kind of uh frequency color healing they're saying like they can heal your color frequency because you have like a little bit of a i don't know rainbow <laughs> frequency this translucent pearlescent energy but this is also talking about like kind of an upgrade so if you don't resonate kind of this energy it's talking about they want to give you some kind of upgrade to help you also realize how much you have outgrown this you know the tower and also save you from any physical illnesses and issues and things like that they want you to be free here red cage capture yeah they wanted to free you you're a beautiful soul you don't you don't need to be there anymore they're saying so this is a, you know they hijacked your reading this andromedan beings and i i feel archangel michael and the dragons they're like it's fine they're they're still here with us so yeah i mean look at this prioritize self-care you know look at this even we have 23 <laughs> We have 24 and we have 26. Yeah, a lot of things is going in order here. So prioritize self-care. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. Wow, and look at all the colors. Yeah, they're coming here to give you all this healing. Yeah, all this healing. I feel that this situation here, Archangel Michael and the Dragon will remove this for you or will deal with this almost like you know the andromedan uh, light beings healers master healers here they came through and they're taking you to their healing room or something like that you know this could be happening when you're sleeping so you know with the portal here so they're taking you there and they're giving you this healing and this thing here it's you don't have to worry about it somehow Archangel Michael and the dragons will remove this for you. This person, this boss, this job, this community, this neighbor, this problem. Somehow you feel like they're completely like they know. You need to know, pile number three, they know what's going on. You're not left alone. They can see what's going on. They really, 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 really want to help you. They really want to help you. Yeah. Hmm. Speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me to speak with integrity. So yeah, so that you can get your voice back. Mm. Yeah, so that you can get your self-respect and worthiness back as well. Self-worth, affirmations, independent and motivated. And the reverse here is insecure, critical, codependent and indifferent. Yeah, so maybe you're codependent with somebody here. Or there's a fear of rejection or... I don't know what, but yeah, get your self-respect, prioritize self-care, speak your truth. Wow, this is going to be so good for you. Romance and connection. Look at this, how loved you are. The true one. Yeah, the one here. The one here is for you in the corner, with you. Yeah, with you. This is a twin flame or a very strong soul connection that came out here in your reading as well. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, pile uh, number three. We're going to do like, I think three more. Uh, yeah, let's just do three more tarot cards. Some last cards here. Oops, we have two of wands. Yeah, it's all about moving forward for you. <laughs> two of swords. I mean, two of swords. Yeah, stuck and I put it here in this. <laughs> yeah, put it here in this uh, chunk of bad energy. Two of swords. Yeah, this is keeping you stuck here. This is This is a situation that won't change. This person won't change it won't change you know you 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 have to be removed and uh, yeah you have to be removed you have to be saved you have to be spared and this is what they're helping you with and with whatever you need also is going to come to you you know you know yeah whatever you need the devil wow <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah wow yeah i don't know why why am i scared of expressing my voice <laughs> you know strange yeah <clears throat> <laughs> the devil look at this this look at the stubborn yeah very stubborn attachment this is a you know the devil talks about all about toxic attachments very toxic attachment keeping you completely stuck you know and the page the knight of uh, cups knight of cups here yeah moving you here this is the healers coming here to help you 
with the Knight of Cups. This is the love, that's the, the, the deep connection that you're meant to experience this lifetime, that's meant to help you also, you know, feel loved and strengthen you and all these things. You have, you definitely have somebody here, actually. Yeah, you're very similar. Look at this, even looking very similar. Something with the two of you are very similar. That's why I thought about Twin Flame. Twin Flame or Galactic Soulmate, yeah. Mm. It's about you now. <clears throat> It's about getting you safe. It's about you getting you the goddess. You remember, like, you're really uh, r respecting yourself and who you are and your truth and what you deserve and what you need and all these things. And, and, and they're really, like, they're all over you. <laughs> yeah, they're really, they're really working with you, pile number three. So don't ever think that you are alone. They're completely helping you with this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think we are going, whoops, everything is shaking. I think we're going to stop there. So pile number three, this was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, either way, pile number three, I really wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.